Hey y'all, this your girl, the real deal, and need to give y'all like, share, and subscribe. I'm back with another reaction. This dude right here used to be the former Beyonce um, bodyguard. Now he's in the hospital with broken ribs and now, and I don't know what happened to him. But let's take a look at this video and let's see what happened. Spilling the beans lately about what he's witnessed in the industry. Of course, so many people have asked me why I waited. 20 years or so long to come out and start talking and telling about the things that have happened in the industry. The most important reason why is I had children, and I still have children, but at that point in time they were young, and my number one priority was protecting my children. I care less about the stuff that went on in the industry at that point in time. For as money, it was never about money, and it's still not about money. I have money. But there's stories that have to be told. The truth needs to come out. A man lost his life. So much more went on. Physically have seen it. Diggy, indulging in gay activity. I'm not bashing him, directly bashing him. I'm just telling the truth. He knows like I know. Gene knows like I know. Who knows like I know. William knows. Bodyguards that were around him know. See, I had my own company. So I didn't need him. I didn't have to take his stuff. The bull crap that came along with being around Diddy. But see, when I start talking about Jay Z and Beyonce, oh, some toes were curled for sure. But hey, the truth is the truth, whether you believe it or not. Yeah, I'm on an investigation. So that's why I'm telling what I'm telling. Because now they have proof. I have physically showed them proof. Things that I have witnessed, things that was told to me. And yeah, of course, it's coming out. And I don't feel ashamed for saying what I've said or done what I've done. Because at the end of the day, I sleep good at night. <coughs> I try to answer as many questions as I possibly can. So many people have asked me about the NDA. Years ago, I owned my own company, my own firm. I had almost 200 people that worked under me. The artists. work for a different company. The artists work for a production company, a film company, a label. My obligations, my signature went for the production company or for the label, not for the artists. I've been fully retired. I sold my company years ago. A great price to the front. The only group or individuals that I can't speak on. Baby, I'm going to stop it right there for a minute. Wonder why he waited to 20 years to bring this out. Now, if I was involved, that would be a different thing. I would bring it out. But if I'm not involved, I wouldn't say nothing. What y'all think? Put it in the comment section. There's a group called Who Baby Sona. We're almost 10 years now. A 
part where I can say what I want to say, but they already know. They have already been giving me permission to say whatever I need to say. You know, the thing about it is, I'm talking about experiences that I have witnessed, that I have seen, that I was a part of. I can't talk about myself all of a sudden. I can't talk about people that were with me or that I was with. I have six attorneys. It's been clear. I know for a fact what I can and cannot talk about. I'm comfortable. People ask me, well, you think you need security of your own? I'm fine. And no, I'm not looking for money. When I sold my company, I sold my company for $6.8 million. I've been owning a building in New York City since I was six. So what making you, come on, get with it. Tell the story. Bring it out. I had company real estate, finances. Those things don't excite so, me. So well, what, what make you want to bring it out? Come on, mister. Why you want to talk now? What makes you talk now that makes you want to feel unease in this world? You know what I mean by telling on them? What are you going to tell the people? Let's hear it. So, me looking to be sued by somebody because I've seen what has happened in my life. I'm not worried about it. Please, don't worry about your Uncle Ron. I'm fine. The thing is, I worry about you being happy in life. That's more important to me. Jay-Z and Puffy wanted Biggie kill. Bottom line. You don't have to believe me. Believe the facts. Here's a man that wanted to leave Bad Boy. He wanted to do his own thing. He mentioned several times how he was tired of being used and abused. That he was bigger than bad boy itself. Somebody, and we ain't gonna call no more names, dangled a bogus contract in front of his face so he wouldn't leave the company. How I know I was there. Another thing, Jay-Z, wanted him out of the industry, period, so he could take over and be the biggest hip-hop artist around. Wow. Y'all heard that? Let me take it back. Let me let y'all hear that again. Ooh-wee. Listen to what he just said. Bad boy itself. Somebody. We ain't gonna call no more names. Dangled a bogus contract in front of his face so he wouldn't leave the company. How I know I was there. Another thing, Jay Z wanted him out of the industry. Okay, I heard that part. I want to go. He said Jay Z and Diddy. Well, I knew that. Jay Z and Diddy wanted him out, but we knew about P. Diddy didn't act like he cared for uh, well, I sold Biggie. Company, I sold my company for six point eight million. I didn't say finances. Those things don't excite me. So, me looking to be sued by somebody because of I've seen. What has happened in my life? I'm not worried about it. Please, don't worry about your Uncle Ron. I'm fine. The thing is, I worry about you being happy in life. That's more important to me. Jay Z and Puffy wanted Biggie kill. Bye. Y'all hear that? Jay Z and Puffy. P. did it. Wanted Biggie dead. Yes. 
I done lied. You don't have to believe me. Believe the facts. Here's a man that wanted to leave bad boy. He wanted to do his own thing. He uh -huh. mentioned several times how he was tired of being used and abused. That he was bigger. So Biggie wanted to leave P. Diddy and Jay-Z. So they set him up. Allegedly. Been bad boy itself. Somebody, and we ain't gonna call no more names, dangled a bogus contract in front of his face so he wouldn't leave the company. How I know I was there. Another thing, Jay-Z wanted him out of the industry, period, so he could take over and be the biggest hip-hop artists around. Wow, that's some cold stuff. Whoa, you ain't get caught? And I wonder who's the biggest hip-hop artist today. It's all business, folks. And unfortunately, you as a fan, most of you won't understand. It was all about business. And the two billionaires have done what they seeded to do. CBD wow. Go get your CBD smoke. Wow. Y'all heard that? Y'all heard? Biggie and Biggie and uh, P. Did it wanted Biggie. Biggie and not Biggie. I mean, said P. Did hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. He back. This is Beyonce, by the God. Three thousand dollars to perform a hit on Biggie Smalls. March first of nineteen ninety-seven, I was approached by Diddy to perform a hit. On one of his artists. Wow. Finding out that he wanted all the rights to all his catalog. Wow, I believe it. I turned him down because I also found out that very night that Biggie had plans of leaving Bad Boy. Wow. Biggie should have never been in California to perform, promote an album. By the way, why was he in California? With a broken tibia bone. What? Been barely wet. To go to another studio. When Diddy has his own studio in New York. Wow. Diddy is pure evil. He has a very nasty history. I you know what? Have y'all ever thought that big uh uh Biddy wanted P. Diddy always wanted to be on top of the world. He always wanted to be the boss. He always wanted to be on top, you know, before uh Shakur and uh uh, uh, what in a big position? He treats everybody like crap. Every single employee he's ever had, he and his mother have looked down on them, belittled them, talked to them like they were the lowest scum on the earth. So he could always have his way. Amar, Muhammad, and Shug Knight, Amir. They took the blame for something that was already getting ready to be in motion. Wow. It just happened at an earlier time. Because on the night, Biggie was taken out. 
and I'm so glad to this day that I refuse to do that. So under investigations and working and cooperating with FBI, my story is being told. Whoa. There's so much more. What? That we're going to talk about with you. What? Let's get something straight. A lot of you won't understand, and it's not meant for you to understand, first of all. You're not talking negative about a child. You're just sharing facts. Me being on the scene, I'm only telling my side of the story. I'm telling what I know. Wow. To you, as a fan, you are a financial accounting number. You are a decimal in this in industry. Wow. This child knows who she is. She understands the arrangement of her sin, of her existence, of her being. She will be well taken care of if anything were to happen to her parents. She knows who her father is. <gasps> she knows who her mother is because at the end of the day, their names are on that piece of paper. The state Wait a minute. You trying to tell me that that's not the Beyonce daughter? And that's not Jack. That girl looked just like all of them got Jay Z lips. They look like them. That little girl looked just like Jay Z. So, what are you talking about? They look like him to me. Blue Ivy looked like him to me. I don't know why y'all. I'm going to put a picture on them too. looks exactly like him. What you're saying is a lie. No. What? You have family members that are in your family right now that look exactly like other family members that you have no direct relationship. That's true. As a fan, you will never accept truth you will never know everything that goes on in the industry. No, you're right. To become that power, that being. But I want to know this. Why are y'all coming out now? Y'all kept so many secrets, but I noticed in the industry, everybody coming out with the truth. What's going on? What What's going on? Because y'all bringing out the truth now. there's a price. There are sacrifices made. But it's an institution. Please open your eyes. And if those who choose not to open your eyes, that's fine and good. But you will forever be a fan. Wow. I want to explain what you're a fan. What your, your place as a fan is. But why she look like Jay Z though? She look just like I'm gonna put a picture on when he finished. Well, so what you saying? They're going to destroy you, Uncle Ron? Because you is saying a lot about them. Hey, I get the threats. But you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. 
I know so much on how you got where you are. Mm. How you stepped on the many people. Beyonce. How you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career because she said something about you. That's how hateful you guys are. How you step on anybody to stay on the top. So remember, your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to be, be to become billionaires. There's no love there. See, what's done in the dark will definitely come in the light. That's Keep true. your dress up. I'm here today, and what I got to say, I'm gonna say it. So don't 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 make idle threats to me. I say I ain't biggie. Say I ain't beating secrets. I ain't freeway. How you you roll all of them off the minute they did it for you to get you to the top. All of them writing for you, and then that minute you get a little taste of success, you wrote them off. You just totally said I don't know. That. Say you don't know me. I did. I dare you. Remember, all the receipts, all the proof, the old school footage, I still have it. See, hardly nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. But there's one thing about me, bro. I can't be bad. Mm. This is Uncle Ron. Just like I know how you got started, I can put my foot down and make you make it all go away. I promise you. You're playing with the wrong one now. Blue Ivy is not Jay-Z's child. Ty Ty Smith is. It was a financial arrangement. And it worked out for them. Okay, guys, this is Uncle Ron. I'm in the hospital. Uh, I got some busted ribs. I got plenty of bruises. What? Cause you talk, Uncle Ron. Oh, it's killing me. Oh, my leg may be busted. I got jumped. Oh, man, that was a terrible, terrible incident. I tried my best to fight back. I just couldn't do it. It's hard to believe. But I promise you, I'm going to get those mosquitoes that beat me up. God help me. Y'all don't even worry about praying for me. Just kill the mosquitoes. I appreciate it. This is Uncle Ron. Leave all the mosquitoes. <coughs> wow. Now, I'm going to find Blue Ivy. I'm about to find Blue Ivy. Because Blue Ivy looks just like him to me. Something happened to that man, y'all. Something happened to that man. Uncle Ron got jumped. Uncle Ron knew that was going to happen. I wonder what made him tell. Let me sign up. Let me put Blue Ivy and Jay Z. Blue Ivy looks just like Jay Z. He's saying that Blue Ivy is not their daughter, but but they the parent Blue Ivy. She he, he they the parents of her. Wow. I don't know how Blue Ivy spell her name. Hold on, y'all.
Y'all, was that worth him telling anything? Beyonce daughter. Let me see. What y'all think about that? Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. Let me see. Let me see do Blue, Blue Ivy look like. Hold up, y'all. 